I'm Jeff Blackard and I build villages. As you know, a village can be any size, but let's just say a village has 5,000 people and it's a half a mile walking distance from the center to the outside of the village. And let's just say 75% of the people live in houses and 25% of the people live in multifamily, condos, flats, etc. And let's just take the demographics of what those people need pretty much on a daily basis. For example, they all need a hair salon or they need dry cleaners or they need a supermarket, restaurants or dentists or mail service or banks or, you know, doctors. They need a place to worship. But you look at the percentages of 5,000 people and, and you come up with how many people need to cut hair, or how many dry cleaners, one dry cleaner, or how many restaurants you need, or how many places of worship you need for those 5,000 people. Then what I do is I just think through how this village is going to evolve over time. So we have to think through this process. What are the needs of those people in that village and where do I place them? And all I'm really trying to do is jumpstart the evolution process of how a real village would actually evolve over time. So I have to get out and think through it and then it will take its natural course. So I think, you know, where are the multifamily, where are the flats, where are the independent living, where are these people living and, and all their different movements as they come down into the little village. Not like the grid system that we have today. This forces all the people in its village to come to their center to get what their needs are. And so I have to think through every movement that these people will do. Now, it will happen naturally and it will happen quickly. Because what I do is I study the existing market in that area. So it's a mixture of products that should be absorbed in three to five years, which gives you critical mass that creates a village through its evolution process in a very short period of time based on the market demands of that current area. This process that you're seeing right now would typically take me uh, three or four months to think through. And I think through every element from every sidewalk to every bench to where the people eat to what their even where their tables sit at the restaurant outside. And I do that based on what I've studied before on how villages around the world um, evolve and how they exist today. You know, why I'm an expert at this is because of my background of developing these neighborhoods across the country and all the different things that I've done. I understand the sewer systems, I understand the bridges, I understand how to build the buildings, I've owned retail. All the components that you have to know about how to design this is very, very, very complex. So. A real village would have thought through all those different things because it evolves over time and, and each person built their own house for a specific reason and a specific design. You can just see yourself living in one of the houses or, or living in a flat and coming downstairs and be part of the village. Now we just did this in you know three minutes. Can you imagine if we actually sat and took the natural components of a piece of property and design day after day after day every little element of the needs of the people and the demographics of the people. Can you imagine what we can design for people? It's really a village. It really serves their needs. Just for the record, my name is Jeff Blackard and I build villages.